hello everyone uh, in today's short lecture of project planning I'll cover software pricing so before going into software pricing we'll understand what is project planning in general so planning involves breaking down the work into parts and assigning these to project team members that's the first part also planning involves anticipating the problem that might arise in and prepare a tentative solution to those problems then also this project planning which is created at the start of the project is like a communication bridge that acts between developer team and a customer so it's like an interface that is connection between both project team members as well as the customers mainly it will assess the progress of the project that has been developed so in general planning involves breaking down into different parts and assigning to team members and anticipating the problem that may arise in future and creating a tentative solution for the same also the project it's like a communication bridge the plan is a communication bridge that acts between customers and project team members mainly it assess the progress of a particular project next planning stages so importance of planning is what we have illustrated in this slide in which at the proposal stage we do the planning like the bidding for the contract to develop or provide a software system that is a project pro uh, proposal stage 1 or during the project startup phase like when you have plan when you have plan like who will work on this project how the project will be broken down into increments or how the resources should be allocated for each and every part of the project this is where planning stages also comes in picture also periodically throughout the project when you modify your plan in light of experience that you have gained from the previous project handled or it's based it generally it's based on the previous experience we'll try to create a plan of execution of a new project that is one part so first one is during the project proposal stage that is bidding for the contract to, uh, to develop or to provide existing software system or during the startup phase wherein we'll have three criteria who will work how it will be divided into increments or how the resources is allocated to different aspects this is about planning stages taking this planning stages with project planning concept we'll see what is proposal planning proposal planning may be necessary with only outline software requirements with only outline software requirements that is very important term the aim of planning at this stage is to provide information that will be used in setting a price the main agenda of this proposal planning is to give a price that is incurred in a particular software development th to the customer so this is what we have to highlight in explanation next important part is software pricing so generally pricing means a particular product will have a price a particular software will have a price or a product with application both will have a price so what is that price directly related to it will have a development cost in general that's what we have understood in our earlier software development life cycle process main thing is cost in each and every model we will try to illustrate cost effective approach why because it's directly proportional to software pricing concept so pricing in general involves the concept of development cost maintenance cost and challenges that are been faced during the development so we'll go with the slides software pricing estimates are made to discover the cost to the developer of producing a software system that's the first thing you can also consider hardware software travel training and efforts with respect to different aspects that are involved in project so all this will have something called as cost so all this will be involved in a particular software pricing concept there is no simple relationship between development cost and the price charged to the customer so this is important key point through which we'll have a clarity with why software pricing is important so here we are illustrating a, there is no simple relationship that is there is no relationship between a development cost and software pricing because development cost is totally different and we have also analyzed development cost is less compared to maintenance cost so software pricing 
will not have any relation with respect towards the cost that is incurred in development next broader organizational economic political and business consideration influence the price charged so even this aspects will be considered to have a pricing approach so we'll highlight few factors that are affecting software pricing first one is market opportunity a development or a development organization may quote a low price because it wishes to move into new segment of software market that is now i have a company which is working currently working on a particular java application now i need to move on my technology of my company to android application as well that's a mobile app, mobile app developments so market opportunity means to get opportunity for my company in market i'll try to accept android projects with less price or less code so that i'll get more opportunities to grow in the particular market so once i get identity in that market now later on i'll try to have high software prices to my products and regain the losses which i've incurred in earlier states so this is market opportunities also we can see here the experience gained may also help in developing new products so that is the important aspects of market opportunities second part is cost estimate uncertainty if an organization is unsure of its cost estimate it may increase its price by contingency over and above its normal profit so this is also important part next contractual terms a customer may be willing to allow the developer to retain the ownership of the source code and reuse it in other projects next the price charged may be then less if that is the case if it can be reused by the developer in other projects means then the price quote will be obviously less than if the software source code is handed over to the customer so if we are giving the complete source code to the customer the price is different and if you are reusing the existing uh, what code we have given to the customer if you are reusing it to the different projects with a different customer then the pricing will be obviously less so this is the third factor that is affecting software pricing so this is about factors three factors the next part is requirements volatile if the requirements are likely to change an organization may lower its price to win the contract after the contract is awarded high price can be charged for changes to the requirements that can occur so it's very simple that's requirements are volatile illustrates that requirements keeps changing so at initial state a company or a person can have a low code for the particular development and later on as the requirements keeps changing he can keep on increasing the price to maintain the software pricing aspect next financial health it's a general aspect wherein the developer in financial difficulty may lower their price to gain the contract but it's better to make a smaller than a normal profit or break down than to go out of the business because the cash flow is more important than the profit in difficult economic times so crisis will happen in financial health so developer has to maintain that or uh, instead of giving a low quote and then getting the project done and then facing the financial crisis instead of that he should go with a nominal profit and try to maintain the cash flow in the particular business aspects so this is the main thing about software pricing in which we understood uh uh common definitions for what is aspects of uh, project planning stages how proposal is done then we started with pricing aspects that's totally with respect to cost and it's not related with respect to development as well as the main factors that affects software pricing like market opportunities cost estimation is uncertainty contractual terms requirement volatile and financial health Thank you.